denote the total potential difference, total current and the total resistance. Total resistance means effective resistance in the circuit. Effective resistance in the circuit. Therefore, what is the effective resistance? Re is the effective resistance. Now, in the circuit, therefore, V is equal to V is equal to total resistance. These two resistances are in series. As the two resistances are in series, effective resistance is equal to R1 plus R2. Therefore, G plus what do you say? R. Therefore, now this is called word. This is and this is. These are combinedly known as your second equation. Now, second equation is substituted in the first equation. Second equation is in first equation. Therefore, V is equals to, right? V is equals to Vg plus Vr. Therefore, V is equals to I into G plus R. Right? Vg is equals to I into G plus. What to say? Vr is equals to right i into r that is i into r therefore this is the one relation you want to calculate next this is called third equation now from this equation from this equation v is equals to what do you say i into g plus r now therefore v by i is equals to g plus r therefore g plus r is equals to v by i r is equals to v by i v by i now minus g this is whatever the load resistance whatever the external resistance connected to the galvanometer in order to form the voltmeter r is equals to v by i minus g this is the one expression but here what is the range of the voltmeter as what is the range of the voltmeter here v is equals to vg plus vr whatever the total potential difference is distributed among the two resistances first one g next one r now let us consider here out of the total potential difference nth part is dropped here remaining is remaining is v minus v by n is dropped across the resistance now v is equals to vg plus vr now the pot total potential difference is distributed among the galvanometer and the resistance in order to calculate the range of the voltmeter now out of the total potential difference nth part of the potential difference nth part of the total potential difference is distributed among the distributed between the galvanometer remaining potential this is the remaining potential v minus vn v minus v by n is distributed across the resistance now what is vg vg is equals to right vg is equals to v by what to say n now n is equals to n is equals to v by vg now here in this case r is equals to right v by i according to convenience from this equation, Vg is equals to I into G. Vr is equals to I into R. Now, here in this case, already we know that Vg is equals to I into G. Therefore, I is equals to Vg, Vg by G. Now, here I is equals to, I is equals to Vg by G, Vg by G, right, minus G. Therefore, R is equals to that is V by Vg, V by Vg into G minus G. Therefore, R is equals to G is getting common, V by Vg minus 1. Therefore, R is equals to G into V by Vg. V by Vg is equals to what to say? N. Therefore, N minus 1. Therefore, this is the value of the resistance to be connected across the galvanometer 
to form the voltmeter r is equals to g into n minus 1 what is n n is equals to range of the voltmeter range of the voltmeter now here in this case what is the voltmeter voltmeter is the device to measure the potential difference between any two points in the electric circuit this voltmeter is also made from the galvanometer a large resistance connected to the galvanometer combined known as voltmeter therefore g is the resistance capital r is the load resistance which is connected in series both are in a series already galvanometer is the highest resistance now again you want to connect a huge resistance to the galvanometer thereby the total resistance the total effective resistance is also increased now here in this case because these two are connected in series whatever the incoming current is constant next one potential is distributed among the galvanometer and that is external resistance r therefore the potential difference across the galvanometer is vg the potential difference across the resistance is vr therefore v is equals to vg plus vr v is equals to vg plus vr now that is vg is equals to ig into g vr is equals to i into r right the total potential is equals to total current into total resistance total resistance is called effective resistance effective resistance of the circuit means galvanometer resistance capital g and external resistance capital r both are under series the effective resistance r1 plus r2 g plus r now this two is second equation is substituted in the first equation once again you are going to get i into g plus r is equals to i into g plus i into r next one what is the range of the voltmeter you want to calculate from this expression right from this expression that is v into i into g plus r therefore g plus r is equals to v by i therefore g plus r is equals to v by i r is equals to v by i minus g no doubt this is the expression for resistance which is connected in series to the galvanometer now here v by i minus g now according to our convenience the total potential difference we are applied between the points a b right nth part of the potential is dropped across the galvanometer nth part is dropped across the galvanometer and remaining is dropped across the resistance here v by n is there remaining potential v minus v by n is dropped across the resistance therefore vg is equals to vn therefore vg is equals to v by n therefore n is equals to v by vg now already we know that i vg is equals to i into g vg is equals to i into g i is equals to vg by g therefore i is equals to vg by g is substituted here i is equals to vg by g is substituted here then turn into numerator v by vg into g minus g therefore g is getting common v g into v by vg minus 1 therefore v by vg is called what to say n that is n is there therefore resistance which is to be connected in series to the galvanometer in order to make the voltmeter r is equals to g into n minus 1 what is n v by vg next one galvanometer plus resistance this combinedly known as what to say voltmeter combinedly known as voltmeter generally voltmeter resistance is maximum voltmeter resistance is maximum voltmeter resistance is maximum galvanometer resistance is let us consider 1000 right now this resistance is to be connected nearly 9000 our galvanometer resistance is 1000 this resistance is to be connected 99000 99000 
therefore galvanometer has the highest resistance and connecting resistance which is in series again has the highest resistance therefore combination the voltmeter has the highest resistance whereas the ammeter ammeter has the resistance because these two are in parallel that is ammeter resistance is very small and voltmeter resistance is very large suppose for ideal voltmeter for ideal voltmeter what is the resistance infinite resistance is maximum maximum ideal voltmeter resistance is infinite whereas ideal ammeter resistance is zero right ideal ammeter resistance of the ideal ammeter is zero but the resistance of the ideal voltmeter is zero next one galvanometer has the highest resistance galvanometer has the highest resistance again voltmeter has the highest resistance voltmeter has the highest resistance it is to be connected parallel in the circuit parallel in the circuit parallel in the circuit therefore in order to drag small currents from the circuit therefore there is no change in the current total current of the circuit therefore the voltmeter has the highest resistance always it is to be connected in the parallel why we are connected in the parallel because it has the highest resistance whenever it is connected in parallel then it will drag then it will drag a small amounts of current thereby there is no change in the current in the circuit thereby here there will be no effect in connecting in the parallel therefore here voltmeter always connected in parallel 